and we're live. <laughs> Hi, James. Hello. Hey, Stu. How are you going? Hey, how are you doing, Stu? Yeah, good, guys. Thanks very much. Yeah, all good. How are you doing, TD? Good, buddy. How are you? Well, um, daylight savings has been taken back, so I had to get up at uh, an hour earlier today. So it was 6 a.m. for me. Um, to be able to catch up with uh, Stu here at, uh, what was it, 9 p.m. GMT? Yeah, I appreciate um, so that. It's, uh, yeah, no, we enjoy uh, collaborating and helping out. It's, uh, I think that's something unique in this community where teams uh, can help each other where possible. Um, we see that also in Telegram groups, so it's, it's amazing. Yeah. The vibe is super positive. Absolutely. So why don't you kind of go over what we're doing today, Stu? So we have launched our uh, testnet contract for Tetra on the Pulse Chain V3. It's it's live now, um, and we are going to use your guys' uh, multi send to to distribute our token to do the airdrop for the testnet. So thank you so much for for working with us and helping us out with this. Um, and um, it's a great it's a great opportunity for um, you guys to obviously show your tools that you've got in the background there as well for us to us to get a bit of benefit out of it as well. So brilliant! It's uh, it's going to be good, and everybody's going to get their tokens, and then um, I'm going to set up some liquidity after that, and people can go and play with the contract and uh, buy and sell on testnet. So um, it's a good dry run. People are going to get their trial balances, obviously. So. This will be the final check before um, we launch the, the main uh, product on uh, on mainnet. So, um, very cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward That's to awesome. it. Awesome. I'm looking forward to actually seeing how your tool works as well in more detail. So. so, just so you know, this tool was built for us primarily for in the background for us to use privately. So the skin itself is not made for like uh, you know to be publicly uh viewed and like wow but uh, obviously we we have sent some photos and videos around uh, mm. we do plan to like reskin it um for pulse chains so just keep that in mind when people are watching this that it is functionally very good um but aesthetically it's pretty basic because um this initially was just made uh as a tool for us in the background for for uh pools that we help facilitate of course yeah yeah so okay let's uh Get well, we my... should mention as well, we should, before, we, before we move on, there's a prize. We've got giveaways, right? Yeah, so, well, I forgot about the prizes. That's something you came up with, so why don't you explain that, Stu? So we'll give, we're going to do a random draw. Anybody that sacrifices for um, MRC, uh, MCR, sorry, <laughs> MCR, <laughs> uh, Mr. C. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> um we're going to do a giveaway, uh, two random wallets of $250 of day one sack points for, for Tetra. That's so, cool. Yeah. Um, so that's about two and a half million points, right? It is, yes. Two and a half yep. million per, per, per wallet. So what we will do yeah. is uh, at some point in the future, and we'll work yep. that out with, with Stu, so you don't, mm -hmm. you know, so don't freak out if like you haven't sacked yet, but uh, we'll work out a, a, a cutoff and then uh, we will do a live drawing. So we will put all of the sacrifice set into a program that we've used before and we will, uh, for transparency, that will be drawn live on stream. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're going to make two uh, multi-millionaire, Tetra multi-millionaires. Well, in Tetra, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just so you know, one tetra equals one tetra. That's it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, shall we bring up uh, the multi sender and get cracking? Let's do it. Yeah. All righty. So we'll start with us on the side. Um, <clears throat> so what I what we need to do here is we're just going to um, we're going to basically uh, load the tetra token in with the pull down menu. There's two tokens in, in this uh, wallet. It is on a, a ledger. It's a TRA. There is the official contract. Uh, it will be posted as well. Um, it has been audited. Pretty sure Pulse Police has looked at it as well, Stu. Is that right? Um, we made a request yesterday. Okay. So, yeah. Yep, just when they got a chance, I guess. And then I'm going to copy and paste the sacrifice set in. Um, 
What's cool about the multi sender is it's going to tell us how much TRA is to be sent. And down the bottom here, it's going to tell us how many unique wallets. And so we've confirmed that. Uh, Stu has confirmed that as well uh, via uh, the Excel data set that we used to come up with this. Um, so this is the amount of Tetra in the wallet. And this is what's being sent. So there's literally going to just be dust left over. Um, and yeah, basically here, you could scroll through all of this if you wanted. It's just going to show all 404 wallets. Does that make sense so far? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we'll go full screen, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Rightio. Let's uh, get cracking. So basically from here, I'm just going to go next. It's going to ask me to uh, approve the spend, basically. Now, you won't see the MetaMask area. Um, but hopefully the chain is working okay and it's going to uh, bring up this stuff. Let me see what MetaMask is doing. Oh, MetaMask is spinning. That's interesting. Ah, oh, here we go. Custom spend, use a default. Yes, we're going to put in that amount. Okay. Next. Approve. Go to my ledger. Review transaction. So this is basically approving to spend that exact amount, as you can see, approval to spend. Now that's actually uh, doing its thing on the blockchain. So if all goes well and the blockchain is uh, reporting well, there you go, it's been approved. Nice, excellent. And we're ready to do the next part. So we've approved the spend and now we're getting ready to do the next phase, which is uh, verify the addresses and values, which we did earlier, but we can do it again. 404, 5502041661, blah, blah, blah. And there's the exact amount. So now we're going to go to next. Now MetaMask has come up again, and it's basically going to ask me to sign all three transactions. Sign all three transactions. So let's just, uh, MetaMask can be a little janky here, but let's see. And the, re and the reason why it's signing all three transactions is because these wallets are split up into three groups, right, Ty? Correct. Yeah, it batches them and then it's sending them. So there you go. The first one is away. I'll and uh, we, will, we will give these transaction hashes to Stu so he can put him in his room. People can see all of it. Mm -hmm. There we go. That one's done. Wow. Fantastic. Now I've got to confirm the next one. And maybe on your side, Stu, maybe put, pull out some random wallets out of that list of yours uh, on V3 and double check uh, that values are showing up yeah so is that is this the airdrops have actually happened that's yep. that's it done yeah it's going one of them one of them's done two more to yep. go fantastic i've now approved them all as you can see they're all in the queue second one's done <laughs> Boy, this is going a lot smoother than the second day this chain was up, right? Yeah, yeah this is going very smooth compared to the first day we did this. It was actually, it did it all in the background, but visually on here, um, the RPC node wasn't relaying the information back to the DAP, and so those ticks were taking a long wow. time. All so done. as you can see, all done. Fantastic, guys. And, okay, and now on. I have just dust in the wallet that sent the... Uh, the transactions so what I'll do Stu is I'm going to uh, get all of these uh, let's just go back to full screen 
leave yeah. it like that. I'm going to um, I'm going to click on all of these transactions. So I've got them here, yeah. and I'm going to send them to you um, after the sh after this basic stream. I'll send them to you, so you've got them. Basically, they're not really for people to go find their um, transaction, okay? Because it's going to show three batches. It's going to show it broken up into three and how much gas was used, which is pretty impressive. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, people need to understand how to use the block scout. They basically put their wallet address in and then go to token transfers and then they'll see the airdrop. I can see it. I'm checking. I've just done a few spot checks and it has been a success. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome. Beautiful. That was very smooth. Indeed. All righty. Well, uh, we can remove the multi sender now. Um, thank you for the opportunity to uh, use our uh, tool and collaborate with us. Um, it's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. And look, forward, look, forward, look forward to main the contest. Too. The contest is awesome. Yeah, the contest. Um, we will. I did a, a post before just to let everyone know that this was happening today. We didn't want mm -hmm. to give a time, exact time, because we wanted to make sure everything was going smoothly. And, that, and for that reason, we didn't want to do it live as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, all good. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Thank you so much. And, and great to see the tool in action. It's it's really sweet. Um, so I can see others definitely wanting to, to use this in the future as well. So it just takes it just takes a headache away. Do you know what I mean? It's one less thing to worry about. So that's that's been a weight off of my shoulders. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time uh, to well, assist one less thing well. one less thing you have to build on top of everything you've got your devs building, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah. So the funny um, thing is, is in Tetra you could you could do a multi center degree, but um, it would make it would it would be far too complicated for that even that many addresses. You know what I mean? It would just be far too. And this just as as a tool specific for the job, I'm really impressed. So thank you guys. No problem. Oh, no worries.